Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Since the new updated layout has reached more and more fire sticks and fire cubes over the past weeks, I have heard from many of you that you don't like the new layout and you've been asking if it's possible to change it back. This video will hopefully give you some answers to the questions that you have about the new updated layout, but more importantly, how to get rid of it. So when you're ready, grab your remote and let's get started. So this is what most of you are now seeing on your home screen with the rollout of the new and updated layout. If you have a 4K Fire Stick or Fire Cube and you haven't got the updated layout yet, it will be coming to you very soon. If you have a second generation Fire Stick, you will be getting this updated layout too, but Amazon have said it won't be rolled out to the second gen until later this year. They haven't given a specific date. Once you have the new update, you can't roll back and neither can you go back a version. Amazon have made this impossible by purposely blowing an e-fuse that prevents downgrading when the software update and the new interface is installed. This information was posted by Elias on the AFTV news website and if you're interested in finding out some more about this, you can find a link to this post in the description down below. If you do have the new updated layout and you don't like it, let me know why in the comment section down below. So we know that once you've received the new update, you can't roll back and neither can you go back a version or downgrade. So what can you do? The answer is to install a custom launcher that can disable all of the Amazon stuff on the home screen and make your Fire TV look something like this. Some of you have already been using custom launchers to change the way that you've made your Fire TV look. And here are just a few examples of what you've sent me that you've been busy doing to your Fire TV. There are many different launchers that you can use and you can find links to tutorials for installing launchers in the description down below. But one of the most popular is the Wolf Launcher, which is a modded version of ATV Pro with some fixes. Just be aware that if you do choose to install a custom launcher, then you may not have complete access to all Amazon settings, full access to all Alexa functions, or full access to the Amazon App Store, unless you return to the main Amazon home screen. Wolf Launcher isn't available on the Amazon App Store, but we can install it by using the Downloader app. If you haven't got Downloader installed, please see the link above me to view my Downloader tutorial. With Downloader open, type in firetvsticks.com forward slash wolf. Then, once the installation file has finished downloading, install Wolf Launcher and open it up. With Open, you can now see that you've got a new home screen that automatically imports all of your applications that you have installed. You can leave it like this, or if you're not quite happy with how it looks, you can spend some time configuring it to your liking. We currently have one section at the top called Applications that shows all of our apps. Now I find it easier to create additional sections, so I have separate areas for movie apps, VPNs and live TV, for example. To create your own sections, press the Options button on your remote, which is the hamburger icon or the button with three lines on it, and choose Launcher Settings, Sections, Manage Sections. You can see the section for applications is already there. Now you cannot delete this section, but you can rename it and I'll show you how to rename a section in a little bit. But first, let's create a new section. Tap down to add section and then enter a title for the section you are creating. I'm calling this one Movies and TV, but obviously you can call yours whatever you like. Keep repeating this process to add the sections that you want. If you want to change the order the sections appear on your home screen, that's easy enough to also do within the Manage Sections menu. 
Just click the center button on your remote over any section to pick it up. Then press up and down on your remote to move it to where you like and then click the center button again on your remote to place it. Now back on the home screen, let's now rename a section. I want to rename the applications section to tools. Press the options button on your remote and choose launcher settings, sections. Then click on the section you want to rename. From this menu, click change title and change it to whatever you like and click apply. Here, if you wanted to, you can also customize the section even further by changing the orientation, specifying how apps are sorted and how many columns are displayed. Play about with these settings until you find what's good for you. Now that you've created these sections, these sections will remain empty until you move apps into these sections. To move an app, highlight over it and press the options button on your remote. Then select move to section and click the section that you want to move it to. Just keep repeating this process to move all of your apps to the sections that you want them to be in. Now once you've moved your apps to your desired sections, the next thing you might want to take a look at is the app icons. If you're a bit of a neat freak like me, I prefer all of my icons to be displayed in the same way to keep things neat and tidy. To change the app icon, highlight over it and press the options button again on your remote and then choose configure. There are a few ways that the app icon displays. As a default, it is set to the app banner, taking up the whole space with just an image or you can change it to text and image. You can choose the display mode of your app icons from app banner to horizontal or vertical. Now I like to display all app icons in the same way, so I'm gonna choose vertical and repeat this process for every app. Wolf Launcher imports every app that is installed, including some Amazon apps that you might want to choose to hide because you don't use them, such as Amazon Music or Amazon Prime if you haven't got a Prime subscription. To hide apps from this screen, again, press the Options button on your remote and choose Launcher Settings, Hidden Apps. Then go down the list and select all of the apps that you don't want to see and when you select them, it will instantly remove them. Now by now, you should have the launcher looking really good and set up the way you like it. What you might want to do next is add a wallpaper background to your new home screen to jazz it up a bit. We can easily download wallpapers using the web browser in the Downloader app. So open Downloader, then click across to Browser on the left. Then in the address bar, type in wall.alphacoders.com. There are many other websites that you can use to get wallpapers from, but I like using this one personally as there are over 890,000 wallpapers to choose from and I find it easy to use. You can browse the sections until you find something you like and then click the blue download icon to download that wallpaper to your device. While I'm in here, I do like to download a couple of wallpapers that I like so I can switch between them if there's one I decide it doesn't look quite right. When you finish downloading wallpapers, go back to the launcher, then press the options button on your remote and go to launcher settings, wallpaper. First, toggle on application wallpaper so we get a green tick, which means we can use wallpapers. Then click on select wallpaper. 
Click Allow so that Wolf Launcher has access to your files. Click on Internal Storage, then scroll down this list until you find the Downloader folder. Click on Downloader and you will see the wallpapers you have downloaded. Click one to select it, then after a few seconds your wallpaper will be loaded into your new home screen. Just repeat the process whenever you want to change your wallpaper. You might want to take a look at creating a private folder that no one can access without a password. If, for example, you have some applications that can be used to make in-app purchases, you might want to choose to hide these ones from your kids. So you can create a password protected folder that you can store these apps inside of. From the launcher home screen, press the options button on your remote and choose create folder. Enter a name for it, then press next and select password protection. Enter a pin number, then press the back button on your remote, type it again, press the back button again and then press apply. To access the folder, click to select it, enter the password and then click the back button and hit enter. From here, you can change the name of the folder and you can remove the password by clicking the padlock icon. Now you can move any app to this folder by highlighting over any app, pressing the options button and choosing the move to folder option. Then select the folder that you want to move it to. Now I've spent some time setting this launcher up and configuring it to my liking, with all of my apps laid out in different sections for easier access. Now whenever your Fire Stick loads, or when you click the home button on your remote, you will still get the Amazon home screen, where you can access the Amazon App Store, access all of the Amazon settings, and fully use Alexa. But if you want to, you can remove the Amazon home screen and the Amazon ads completely and make your Fire Stick default to any custom launcher when your Fire Stick wakes up, when you exit apps and when you press the home button on your remote. Now we can do that using an app called Launcher Manager. This isn't available on the Amazon App Store, but we can install it by using the Downloader app. With Downloader open, type in firetvsticks.com forward slash L manager. Then once the installation file has finished downloading, install the Launcher Manager and open it up. Click on Launcher Options, then click on Enable Custom Launcher. You should then get an Allow ADB Debugging prompt on your screen. Tick Always Allow from this computer and click OK. This disables the Amazon home screen and gets rid of it. Then you should see that no custom launcher is selected. So again, click on Launcher Options and click Change Custom Launcher. Give it a few seconds then on this next screen, click to select from the list of installed apps which custom launcher you want to set as a default. Now in this video we have used Wolf Launcher, so I'm going to select that from the list and click Save. Now when you press the Home button on your remote, you will be at your custom launcher home screen. Now make sure that you don't delete the Launcher Manager app, otherwise you won't be able to return to the original Amazon home screen without doing a factory reset of your Fire Stick. Now that we have removed the Amazon launcher, you may still want to access the Amazon settings, such as My Fire TV, Equipment Control and Network Options. You can do that right from within the Wolf launcher by pressing the Options button on your remote and choosing Android Settings. Scroll down and here you can find and access all of the Amazon settings. I hope that this video has helped and you can now change your Amazon home screen to your liking by using a custom launcher, removing the new layout from your Fire Stick. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases.